Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the STT plate carrier from uh, well, it's a combination of SKD Tactical and uh, OEM by First Sphere. So yeah, this is a uh, one that actually belongs to a buddy of mine. It came out a little while ago. I think uh, you know it's a pretty, pretty impressive package for the price. Like I say, buddy uh, lent it to me just for this review. Um, for those of you who maybe aren't familiar, this is essentially a, a cut price version, not not in a bad way, but I'll explain that as the video goes on. But cut price version of the First Sphere Strandog plate carrier. So it's, it's the STT, which stands for 612 tubes. We're going to put it down on the tabletop now, take a closer look at the uh, construction. So we'll start off with the basic difference between the First Spear Strandhog and the STT, which is also made by First Spear, but uh, not necessarily uh, sold by them directly. Um, not that many differences overall. Uh, basically, the Strandhog has this elastic material in the side of the plate pockets here, whereas the STT just has cordura, so it's not quite as uh, stretchy, it can't quite expand as much, potentially. Um, Strandhog has these shoulder pads, where the STT just has normal shoulder straps. See that there? The inside of the Strandhog is all this spacer mesh and, uh, and foam padding, whereas the STT, as standard, just comes and it's just plain flat or dura. However, yeah, this particular one that my buddy bought, he's, uh, he's got the optional pontoon upgrades that you can add on there for extra airflow, but as stock, it just uh, is flat on the inside. Then on the back, the strand hole comes with a Velcro down drag handle. The STT doesn't. Essentially, the cummerbunds adjust slightly differently. The STT just has some Velcro, whereas the strand hole has these, uh, this, this sort of laced shock cord. So yeah, that is uh, that is the only difference is really, it's, it's not massive stuff. But we'll look at the STT. The main thing is, at the end of the day, the main features of the Strand Hawk are the 612 technology, which replaces PALS webbing, cuts down weight, cuts down bulk. So you've just got these laser cut slots, which are radius on each end for strength. And I've been using my Strand Hawks and other first beer chest rigs for years now, and this stuff holds up fine, which is a query a lot of people have. Also, for your money with the STT, you get your tubes, which is a brilliant system. It just means getting getting thing on and off is insanely quick and insanely simple. Again, there's a, I've done a torture test on these tubes, as have First Beer. So if you check out and um, look back on my channel or look on the First Beer YouTube channel, you can see these uh, plastic tubes pieces being tested. Now, on a base level. Uh, if you're not familiar, the STT costs $199, so sub $200 in the States. And uh, the Strandhog is pretty much double that. So I think considering the fairly minor overall differences between the two, I think the STT is uh, is really a brilliant deal. Obviously this one's a multicam, you've got all cry fabrics. All the webbing is, is the jacquard woven webbing holding on the tubes here uh, on the uh, on the the tabs holding the plates on the shoulder straps, all the whole straps, all woven webbing. Mostly 500 denier to cut down on weight, that's the main bulk material obviously. You've got a type of loop on the inside of the 612 here. This just means you can use the first beer 612 pockets as well as standard legacy my or pals pockets on this plate carrier same thing all the way around plate bags themselves are sized to take 10 by 12 inch standard commercial shooter cut plates or they'll take medium e-sappies they won't take anything above a medium e-sappy uh, sides will take a soft armor insert on this uh, i don't believe they'll take hard armor insert but they will take, um, there's three sizes of Cummerbund, the smaller two will take 6x9 inch soft armour inserts, the larger size will take a, a larger size insert, I can't quite remember the number off the top of my head. Got your back panel here, pass through channel, the Cummerbund goes through, it's slightly more fiddly to adjust your Cummerbund on the STT compared to the Strandhog, 
it's not a big deal. Um, you can see here, there's your uh, attachment points for the shoulder straps. You've got metal tri-glides there holding the straps on, incredibly strong. You can see the amount of stitching they put in there. Lots of uh, double, triple stitching, heavy stuff. The thread itself they use, all mill spec materials throughout. Very, very sturdy. And obviously the quality of stitching is excellent. I, I pretty much poured the, over every thread on this carrier before I'd started the review. The only manufacturing faults I can find, and I, I use the word fault hesitantly, um, like this line of stitching here is slightly, there's like a tiny wobble in it. I don't know if you're able to see it. There's like a tiny bit of a wobble in the stitch. I mean, who gives a crap really? But yeah. You've got your large tubes on your cummerbund, the small ones on your shoulder straps, so you can get out of this rig insanely quick. And for some reason, I think they've got a bit overboard with the labels. You've got labels. Like, I think that was a bit unnecessary. They could cut down and just have the one, probably, but hey ho. Um, on your insides, like I say, plain Cordura, but you've got this Velcro SKD Tactical offer soft armor backers to go on here and they also offer these AFC pontoons which are just nice little padded sections you can just lay those on and there you go you increase your airflow but obviously bear in mind it's going to change um, depending on what plates you have what armor if you have these pontoons it's going to change your sizing so keep an eye on that but overall as with anything that's physically manufactured by first beer excellent throughout so that's it guys, the SKD Tactical 612 Tubes plate carrier, $199, comes with multicam, black, coaty brown, and range of green. Different sizes of cummerbund available, various options in terms of how you deck out inside with the soft armour and the pontoons. Compatible with all PALS pouches, mylis clips, speed quick sticks, um, 612 pockets from First Beer, anything will work on here, so that cummerbund weighs 1.6 pounds all in, fuck all really, um, put together to, to a very high standard. You know, you've got like your little heat shrinks on the on the paracoil poles for, for your tubes so they don't like cause as much of a snag hazard, etc, etc. Basically, you're getting a lot of functionality, so a lot of technology, a lot of quality for, for your money. Um, you know, for the military end user, you can email First Beer and they'll probably sort you out like a military discount and then you can get the Strand Hog. Uh, and then you've got, you know, you've got your, um, there is Velcro on the inside of the strand hole for attaching additional armour pieces for like, for the, for the throat area, the groin, um, your shoulders, etc. Uh, and you've got, you've got that drag handle, which, you know, in a military context, obviously, you know, something you're going to want. If you want something that's really high tech for an incredibly good price, really can't recommend this thing enough. All the reviews out there that are out there already are extremely positive and, uh, you know, I think, I think you're really going to struggle to beat something so high tech, such high quality in this price range. I, I would be surprised if there's anything out there and you know I look around a lot of stuff so yeah. Check this thing out guys, links in the description below. Thank you for watching the video obviously. Facebook and Instagram and all that social media shite down there, uh, updating that all the time so uh, check it out. Thank you again for watching, I'll see you next time.